the outspoken highly paid pundit suggested the Conservative MP for Stoke-on-Trent North could not read. Bosses at the publicly funded BBC have refused to tell an MP elected by the public if Gary Lineker was disciplined for breaching social media rules when he seemed to imply the Conservative politician could not read. Jonathan Gullis, MP Stoke on Trent North, accused the national broadcaster of a weak-willed whitewash over the comments made on X, formerly known as Twitter, by the presenter who is paid £1.35 million to host Match of the Day. In a spat online Mr Lineker had highlighted an article in which Mr Gullis called out the former England striker for yet again another breach of the BBC's impartiality rules in response to the star signing an open letter criticising the government's Rwanda policy. Retweeting Mr Gullis on the X platform on December 11, Mr Lineker responded by saying, Jonathan hasn't read the new guidelines, or, should I say, had someone read him to him. Now Mr. Gullis has blasted the BBC's pathetic response over his complaint about the tweet from Mr. Lineker. The MP told the Mail on Sunday that BBC Director General Time Davey had a meeting with MPs in October when he told them stars like Gary Lineker would be held accountable if they broke the rule. But Mr. Gullis added about his latest complaint, unless they can come clean and actually tell us whether Mr. Lineker was disciplined or not, this feels like just another weak-willed whitewash from the BBC. Adding that the promise from the October meeting appears to be absolutely worthless, Mr Gullis said, We can only hope Samir Shah might help Tim Davey relocate his spine as quickly as possible. The Mail on Sunday reports incoming BBC chairman Samir has conceded the tweets from Mr Lineker appear to breach the social media rules that warn presenters not to criticise the character of individual politicians in the UK. However, Mr Gullis said the only response he had received so far over his complaint was that it would be considered in detail and that if any action was taken it would be proportionate. A BBC spokesman said, we aren't going to comment on individuals or individual tweets.